Has the recent Ripple ruling finally emboldened Washington, D.C. to legislate? And Axers, we are thrilled to introduce a slightly different format for your weekly recap. In this new approach, we'll be kicking things off with the most impactful headlines that caught our attention. Go check out the new format at endax.io forward slash blog and reach out to us on socials to let us know what you think. Large crypto holders are being robbed in their own home, according to Canadian police. Several instances have been reported and are being investigated by RCMP in and around Delta, Richmond, BC. Stay safe and don't open up to anyone posing as a delivery person or a figure of authority, unless, of course, they have proper ID. Welcome to The Recap, where we bring you the most important and interesting news nuggets of the week. U.S. House representatives introduced a new digital asset oversight bill on Thursday, which aims to establish a regulatory framework as well as to protect crypto asset investors. Pennsylvania Representative GT, today's introduction of the Financial Innovation and Technology for the 21st Century Act marks a significant milestone in the House Committees on Agriculture and Financial Services, efforts to establish a much needed regulatory framework that protects consumers and investors and fosters American leadership in the digital asset space. Representative Glenn, aka GT Thompson, Chairman of the House Committee on Agriculture. And I know we've been over this before, but in case you're wondering what agriculture has to do with crypto, well, the House on Agriculture Services typically oversees commodities. And commodities, of course, can be oil and gold, but historically they were cattle and corn. And therefore, a commodity such as Bitcoin, as non-agriculture as it may seem, is likely to be overseen by this House Committee. Incidentally, this bill is also seeking to determine a way where whereby a crypto asset can start off as a security, therefore governed by the Securities Exchange Commission, and later be relabeled a commodity once it becomes decentralized enough and would, of course, at that point be governed by a commodities regulator like the CFTC, the Commodities Futures Trading Commission. Moving on. And last but not least, and a little out of left field, an interesting story on crypto adoption in our G8 neighbors across the pond. After the passage in Europe of Mika, Markets and Crypto Assets, which has seen crypto companies move into Europe and specifically now France, 40% of French Gen Z crypto investors report entering the space in the last six months. Similar numbers are being surveyed in Germany as well. Bitcoin dominance going through a slight correction is now hovering just under 50% of total crypto market cap. BTC price lost half a percentage point over last week and is now trading at around $39,250 Canadian. Ethereum's market share also correcting slightly, now hovering under 20% market share of total crypto market cap. And Ether is down about 1.8% over the week, now trading under 2,500. Once again, check out ndax.io forward slash blog for links to these and other stories. And be sure to let us know what you think of the new format. Start your free account at endax.io today.